The children of God, your entire life has been in training for what is now being birthed. Those in my end time army, my crown jewels and my remnant, they will manifest my power and authority here. As all hell is unleashed by the beast system and with the judgments I bring upon a world in covenant with darkness. These judgments have begun in earnest as you are seeing already and the portals of hell continue to open bringing thousands and ten thousands, even millions of more demons upon the earth at this time. I will not restrain the evil ones from their purposes, as all is foretold. I will, however, protect my own. You have my absolute word that those who walk in obedience have nothing to fear as these things happen on the earth. Those who I call my sons and daughters, my kings and priests, those who will serve as heirs to my kingdom, as my governing body and who will rule the nations with a rod of iron, are experiencing the final aspects of training, as I require seasoned soldiers to advance my kingdom here and to slay the wicked forces of darkness. This training requires knowing how your enemy operates, so that your responses and your discernment are highly sharpened, consistent, and you are secure in me, your foundation your commander-in-chief who never leaves your side. We will slay the enemy together, and as you see your enemy's demise, there is a noticeable escalation, yes, in the evil that has saturated every aspect of society, and therefore your training becomes more rigorous and intense. Your focus turns from operating defensively to a full frontal offensive stand as truly Satan and his dark kingdom will do absolutely anything to prevent you from filling your purposes. And although my remnant may be small in number, they are mighty and they are fierce. Numbers are nothing to me, only obedient vessels. My power is the greatest power that exists. And although tens of thousands come against you, I keep you close under the shelter of my wings. And even a few chosen ones serving under me are far more powerful than anything the enemy can devise against us. You must come to me often, many times a day in our conversation, staying attuned to my voice as you pray my word unceasingly, keeping the wall of protection around yourselves and your loved ones. Cover yourselves often with my blood. Cover all you have contact with in your daily lives. Do not underestimate how intensely focused you must be as you are being constantly watched and monitored your adversary looking for a small breach in order to gain access to you with legal rights. I have told you many times, the key is in your obedience. Pray my scripture, my word audibly, and there is great power in the breath I have breathed into you. As ambassadors of my kingdom, you have been sent to occupy and to secure. The authority I have revealed to you is yours, as it is mine to accomplish the purposes you have been ordained to do. You have been sent with all the tools and resources necessary to carry out these tasks in front of you. And although it appears from this perspective that you will not achieve the end, I assure you, all those who walk with me have access to all that I am and all that I possess, given to you by my Father in heaven. You are co-heirs to my throne and you reside with me in heavenly places. The earth is not your home. I have inserted you here, so to speak, into a time-space continuum to anchor my presence here and to manifest all that I am in a lost world. Just as I mu had much opposition when I walked this earth, you too are experiencing much opposition. Mine was unto death of this physical life and the enemy would like nothing more than to end your mission here as well, keeping you from filling, fulfilling all you've been sent to do to advance my kingdom here and to glorify my name. I showed all that I am the only way, the only truth, and the only life by resurrecting myself with my own power, and therefore, the victory has been secured, so you will know no fear. When I sent you here, I did not send you without my perfect counsel, my instructions, and therefore, you are not walking this journey blindly. I have provided all that is necessary for you. You operate from an open heaven, and the store storehouses of blessing are open unto you. You are my army, great and strong. There has never been an army like you. By my all-consuming fire, you will go before you and I will go before you and behind you. My strong people set in battle array. The enemy will know terror as they see you, as you run like mighty men, untouchable and indestructible. 
I will utter my voice before you, and no one will be able to stand for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. You will do things not possible for any man. As my spirit invades every fiber of your being, and we bring in the largest harvest of souls known. You will receive, my beloved, all that I have to give, as it is my very heart that is the treasure you seek, and that will change the world forever. The essence of who I am manifested through my remnant body is what will alter this dimension and bring heaven to earth, fulfilling my perfect design. You were brought here into a battle, a spiritual war that has already been won. It is only for you to stand firm in this truth anchor my love and my light, proclaim my truths, and wield my sword of the Spirit as your mightiest weapon. The beautiful part of this battle is that you do not have to do anything in your own strength, as it would not be possible. I am is pouring through you and will accomplish the very purposes I have ordained for you to do. I will use my finely tuned instruments to manifest my presence, and all will know that I am that I am. Every knee will bow and every tongue confess that I am Lord of all. This is the greatest battle of all time, the fight of your lives, but not only for your physical lives. It is a fight for your very soul and the souls of all my creation. I warned you it would become extremely dark and very, very difficult in the last days before I came for you. It is not, is that not what you're experiencing? None of you are witness, none of what you are witnessing and going through should surprise you. It was all foretold in my word. Do as I have commanded you to do. Turn away from absolutely everything that is of this world. Focus like never before. Pray for radical faith every day. Pray for my discernment of the Spirit so you will not be deceived. Pray to continue to receive my holy counsel, knowledge, understanding, and wisdom in these last dark days. Then watch and see what I am about to do. Truly, this earth has never seen anything like what I am going to do through my instruments of righteousness. You are not alone. You are victorious. You are strong because I am strong in you. You will not fail. Victory belongs to me. I am the king of all, the master of all creation, and I am coming for my beautiful bride. Use your keys and come through the door, which is me. I'm the password. It is my glory to conceal, but the honor of kings to search out a matter. I will reveal all things concerning you, 